Flash Frame bringing you two for one video review where we're looking at the Walmart exclusive. This you cannot get in other stores. Fairy of Bone Crusher 2 pack. Ironhide versus Bone Crusher. We're dissing Ironhide and we will focus on this Bone Crusher and then give you Serenity. Here is the original Bone Crusher. Let's see. The original Bone Crusher is more normal color. This is more of the scars and the lighter colors. There is another big difference. You see, this one has no of that dog symbol. That has the dog symbol in there. See before. Into the front section. You see, this one does not have the scar. This one do have the scar. Can you turn the back. They do have the. This one has the no scar, and this one has. Since it is different in colors, this is more of a. Olive green this is more of a dark green. And they both have. One is a smaller Decepticon symbol, and the retro has the smaller one, and this one has the. Basically, I show you similarities to the original Bone Crusher. Then we're not focused because I already reviewed Bone Crusher in the Halloween review, but I did not show you the transformation. Before we do that, show you the card. Bone Crusher's card is the most wanted the Supercon, and Bone Crusher is also known as the Claw of Megatron. He has no unlate, no analysis, none. Oh, mode. Alternate mode, armor vehicle, perm spin weapon, permanent weapon or some, I don't know, spin blades, and the last location, deep in the Sahara. And here's the code that we don't use, but yes, they keep making see, Hasbro's. This is Hasbro's way of he's still alive. He's still alive. So, so anyway, I will get the other bone crusher and tell you why bone crusher. I got him because this bone crusher, because the original bone crusher that I see you beat. I already got two bone crushers instead of one, but. It is pretty simple because this bone crusher is nothing more but a coward that does not like this bone crusher. They say it is, is bone crusher, but it's not. You may call this one the clone. If you have two bone crushers, you got this one and the one. You may call that one a clone, but. Bone Crusher. Big deal. Did not show you the transformation yet on the guy. So I will show you. I did not show you the transformation in the Halloween review of the original. Because it was black, and I didn't show you. So I show you how to transform this guy on camera. Yes, this is the first time ever. I generally not show you the transformation because it is a repaint of a character that you don't need to understand. Here is the 
another bone crusher in robot mode, and here is the the originator bone crusher. You see, this one has the scar mark, and this one does not. This is tear on that all the green color. This one has a broke out eye and a scar, maybe after a fight prime, and this one has not. This has the scar marks and all over that body, and this has my green and all. And this has more of the colors and all that other stuff. And they actually painted those areas, and they had that scar mark right there, and they did not cute it. Anyway, same articulations this got in this guy, but if if you don't have the original bone crusher, this guy is a great opportunity. If you have the original and you want the clone version, you want a clone from Revenge of Fallen, this one would be good. Personally I've gonna rename this guy as Long No Big Horn because I keep on with the theme of Beast Wars. Two, when this his Beast Wars counterpart was repainted in red and had a red face and all that, as this one, be called, I'm specifically calling this guy is Acorn. I'm putting him in my collection. So, anyway, this is right. And we're looking at Bone Crutchers and all about enemies.